Today is National Recycling Day, although we hope you celebrate every day, recycle and think about the ways we can reduce our waste. This morning we are talking to two people, two business owners who definitely believe that it's so important to do. The founder and CEO of Shore Buddies, Malta, is joining us, along with Megan, the co-founder and president of ReRip. Good morning to both of you. Hey, good morning. Good to see you guys. Good to see you. Uh, yeah, it's so great that San Diego has, you know, many businesses that keep our environment in mind. So I want to start with you, Megan. I see your surfboards lined up behind you. Tell us all about ReRip. Um, ReRip is a surfboard recycling company. We've been around for about 15 years here in San Diego, and we work to set up drop-off locations in surfing areas. Um, we partner with community um, businesses, um, so people have a place to drop off boards when they break or if they just don't want them anymore. A lot of times people who are leaving, leaving the coast, just want to donate their old board, and we definitely um, try and find new homes for them. Um, keeping them out of the landfills is our mission, and then we just kind of have a reallocation program where we re repurpose them um, or upcycle them into art. Um, and try and, and, and get them back in the water if we can. Oh, Megan, I'm so glad you exist, really, because uh, <laughs> so many times you see people surf and, you know, they may get a broken board. I mean, they come back all bummed out. Uh, but, you know, I saw the beautiful artwork that these surfboards can then become. So tell us about that. What do people, what do you get to do with these broken surfboards? Well, we're lucky. We just kind of house them at the moment, and then artists come to us, okay. or we look for artists. So right now, we're putting together an art show, actually, called Peaceful Planet, and we're trying to... T uh, we we've attracted a diverse group of artists who are actually putting together a piece um, of art for the show made out of one of these old broken boards. And I don't know if you guys get a chance to go to our site, but there are some beautiful works of art by some really nice artists. Um, so they, they just turn yeah. it into something that you could buy to put on your wall at home. I, I was going to say, Megan, we're showing some of the images right now and the creativity okay. they have my goodness it's awesome to see I mean look at this one there's like jellyfish hanging off of a, a wave <laughs> somehow they did yeah, that there's so some really creative people out there so for people right now who may be at home with like a broken board they can't you know maybe resell it uh, it may have too many dings or something what can they do with their boards um, well, they can get creative themselves, or if they don't have time to do that, they uh, our closest bin um, for San Diego is at Cardiff, Patagonia. So they could, okay. next time they're going up the coast, just drop it off at Cardiff, Patagonia, and we'll take it from there. Oh, nice. And then you'll take it off their hands, turn it into artwork. That's awesome, Megan. Uh, now let's talk about Malta, who's waiting patiently. Shore Buddies, uh, we know what you guys do, but for our viewers at home, Malta, if you could tell us, uh, what's Shore Buddies all about? Yeah, at Shore Body is all about, we uh, make stuffed animals out of recycled plastic bottles. So happy National Recycling Day. We <laughs> celebrate it every year. Yeah. But our really main mission is, you know, to educate the youth that uh, all the stuff that Megan is doing, you know, that that becomes natural. It's like, okay, my surfboard is broken. I'm not going to throw it in a landfill. You know, I'm finding ways to repurpose, to recycle them. And uh, yeah, what better way to to talk <laughs> about those topics, you know, than with a stuffed animal. So, you know, like you have the old emotional connection and then we educate about it, you know, what everyone can do to really keep the plastics out of the ocean. Hi, Sammy. Good to see you, Sammy. Because, uh, yeah, our daughter is obsessed with all shore buddies. We got the, the whale, the turtle. We do give these as gifts as well because I think it's a great idea, especially for the holidays. Yeah, buddy, buddy. Uh, <laughs> we have also our new turtle. It's kind of like the new hit for the... Um, for the holidays, a super cute stopping <laughs> stalker. So like this is uh, flying right now. There you go. And the sound is so realistic, Malta. <laughs> Yeah, we got them from uh, actual marine biologists, right? So, like, we we are so grateful to be here in such a great mm -hmm. ocean-loving community in San Diego. You know, um, Mag and you guys doing amazing things. You know, we're all keeping um, the oceans clean because that's yeah. what we love here, you know, and we really talk about that, what is can, can be done. And for me, starting with Shore Buddies, it was... Um, you know, as you guys hear from my accent, I'm originally from Germany and there I kind of grew up with recycling. It always was a thing, but I was missing the, the final part, right? What is actually happening with all yeah. the stuff we put into the recycling bin? And um, I got inspired, you know, Patagonia, Megan mentioned them earlier, you know, they have a drop off in Cardiff. They inspired me really when they turned plastic bottles into T-shirts and jackets and, right. you know. You can also make a stuffed animal out of it, which yeah. I thought is, a, is an amazing technology. Yeah, let's talk about that, too, because I think it's so important. It's great that people recycle, but the best thing is to try not to have to have anything to throw away, right? Reusing what we have and just limit the waste. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. For us, uh, I always compare that kind of to 
You know, um, when you come home from a night out or we come home from school and the kitchen is flooded, right? What mm -hmm. is the first thing you do? You're not going to pick up a mop and cleaning up the floor. You know, that's what we do with the beach cleanups. Um, but really what we need to do is, is stop the flow, you know, turn off the tap. Right now, there's all still 8 billion tons of plastic going into our oceans every mm. single time, you know, and every piece we can avoid, and that's where plastic really kicks in. We need to stop, you know, the overconsumption of single-use plastic. Yeah, yeah, and you're turning, obviously, plastic bottles into these great dolls, an education tool to hopefully get the kids to think about it and tell mom and dad, stop it, <laughs> you know, and then also you too, Megan. You guys are so great at living and breathing this in your business and what you're dedicated to. So before we have to go uh, Megan let's bring you back if you could tell us what's uh, you know a piece of advice someone who's watching right now one small thing maybe you do in your day-to-day -day life that we can all kind of take away from this um I think gosh there's so many little small things that people do or that I do um I've you know been known to kind of bring like Tupperware to yeah. restaurants so I can take my food back in my own Tupperware things like that but I I think it's about the bigger things now. I think we have to remember that um, social and racial justice are very intertwined with environmental issues. Mm -hmm. Make sure everyone has a t seat at the table, that we're listening to all communities, um, especially those that um, have the environmental issues affecting them the most. Right, because of course it impacts our health in so many ways, uh, you know, lower income areas especially. I'm glad you brought that up, Megan, really good point. Uh, and Malta, what about you? Any quick tip that we can all follow? Um, yeah, for me, it's always, you know, we're trying to always be so perfect in this world, you know, like, um, in my opinion, we don't really need 100% uh, of the people, you know, who live zero waste. So um, start with recycling, you know, today's uh, National Recycling Day, start with that, start small, you know, be the change that you want to see in the world and start with that. And also, um, everyone who is in the community, we're going to be actually at the uh, Encinitas Holiday Fair this upcoming weekend, and we're partnering with another great organization, Cans for Books. So um, today's National Recycling Day. Help us, bring us your uh, recyclables to the uh, Encinitas idea. Fair, and we'll give you a discount on the show buddies. And the <laughs> Cans for Books, uh, they actually take those recyclables, bring them to the CIV and uh, buy books for low-income communities. Thank you both so much. Shore Buddies and Rerip, great local businesses, uh, really helping our planet. We appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you.